Okay, so after the success of the first Paddington, did you always know there was going to be a sequel? I, we always hoped there would be a sequel. I mean, there's there's lots of Paddington books and lots of Paddington stories. And, and so the hope in making the first film was that it could be the start of, uh, of, of something that, that endured, you know, rather than a standalone film on its own. But it, we had no idea whether it would find an audience or certainly whether it would find a, a large enough audience to merit you know the the huge ridiculous cost of making a film so it was a huge pleasure that the first film uh found a kind of a, an audience around the world and, and a real treat to be able to come back to this lovely environment and, and company and make another one yeah it is absolutely delightful oh thank you delightful. thank you very much um yeah so it does actually look a, a much bigger production this time around Gosh, no, that's good. I, I don't know. I mean, it's. It, I think it's a little. It's a little more expensive in terms of the budget, but uh, certainly we kind of learned a lot doing the first one, and I think we were able to sort of learn some lessons and hopefully make it feel uh, like a a, a a next step forward. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I was going to say, was there? Um Stuff that you couldn't put in the first that you, you brought over. I mean, there were ideas that I wanted to do. I always wanted to do the pop-up book. Like when, when I, in some of the early drafts of the first film, there was this sort of pop-up book of London that Aunt Lucy would look at and sort of tell Paddington about London because that idea really was inspired by the Ivorwood animations, the sort of 1970s sort of cardboard cutout thing. And I always thought it'd be fun to do a modern version of that. But it didn't quite work narratively in the first film and it was quite a difficult and quite expensive sort of set piece. So it was this time I made sure it was baked into the plot from there was no cutting the pop-up book. The whole story is about it. Because uh, Partly because I really wanted to do that sequence and also because that idea of Aunt Lucy dreaming of London and wanting to see London still felt like it had proper emotional mileage that Paddington's here and he's happy and he's living with the Browns but Aunt Lucy has never got to live out her dream of coming to London and that's a sadness for him and he wants to give her this birthday present and send her the gift of London when she's so far away. Definitely. Um, yeah, so this time you've got uh, Hugh on as the, the villain. Yes. Um, let's, I heard that you wrote uh, wrote him a note saying we've written this part of a vein washed up on has <laughs> been with you in mind. Um, <laughs> it wasn't entirely worded like that, but that was the de the general gist of it. Uh, it's quite an awkward note to write somebody, especially somebody you, you've sort of idolised for years. I don't know him at all. Or d I do now, but I, I didn't at the time. But And so it was, it was slightly awkward, but luckily he's got the most amazing amazing sense of humour and no sense of self-importance whatsoever. No, nobody laughs at, at Hugh more than Hugh does himself. So he really took it to, in really good humour and sends himself and the entire acting profession up as, as far as they can go. Yeah, definitely. He's brilliant. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well. oh, great. Yes, he's got a hell of a look. Yeah. It's an amazing, amazing mixture of, of ridiculous things. Yeah, also in the house, he's got those, uh, those old pictures. Of yes. Was that his idea or was that? Uh, that? I think it might have been me. And there's also one of my favourite details. Well, I don't think it's ever in focus is there's a, uh oil painting of him wearing a kilt with one foot on a rock, which we always thought was very funny. Just sort of thing an actor happens to have around. But no, Hugh managed to find lots of his old sort of publicity photos and we sort of decorated his whole house with them, which was great. Yeah. Um, okay, so I should... Obviously, this is going to be a massive success as well, uh, I think. I, let, let's hope so. I'm <laughs> I mean, glad you're right, confident. Absolutely, absolutely oh, good, so, good. Um, can we expect a Paddington free? I'm, I'm absolutely. I'm sure I'm sure they would love to make one, and, and it would be, uh, fingers crossed, we can think of a good story to send him off in again. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Oh, thank <laughs> well, you. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much.